hello you guys welcome back to my channel Mary to be here and today I have a really dramatic look using natural colors funny um I'm using the new Tarte Let's in Bloom palette I use about five of the shadows out of the palette it smells so good it smells like chocolate anyways um yeah so I use this palette to create this eye makeup and like I said it's really dramatic really really bold liner thick thick big lashes but um natural colors anyways um yeah I just felt like doing my makeup doing a tutorial for you guys so I did a really dramatic look for this palette I think tomorrow I'll do a more softer look but um yeah on my lips I'm wearing ColourPop Kapow liquid lipstick um and yeah it's another talk chit chat video and you guys see what I do on my eyes but you do not see what I do on my face but I do explain the products uh, that I used and the steps that I took to achieve my face makeup so if you would like to see how I did my eye makeup and everything on my lips then please continue to keep on watching hello you guys so I'm going to be using the Tartlet in bloom palette today but before I start I'm just gonna explain to you what it is that I used on my face as per usual prime with Becca's ever matte poreless priming primer this just helps control the oils that you would have throughout the day think of it as a blotting paper throughout the day and then I went ahead and primed the darkness that I have under my eyes and around my mouth and maybe blemishes that I might have around my face with the Max Prep and Prime Highlighter Pen and Peach Luster. The peach cancels out the darkness. And then I went in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Makeup in, I think this is Deep Honey. Yeah, Deep Honey. So I applied that on top. And then, because the foundation does run a little bit, just a tad bit darker than my skin tone, I went in and highlighted a little bit more than normal with my NC45 MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I can't speak today. And so, I uh, highlighted under my eyes as per usual. I highlighted on my cupid's bow, down my nose. On my forehead around my brows and a little bit on my cheeks just to even out everything and then I set under my eyes with Ben Nye banana powder and then I set my face with max studio fix powder in NC 55 and then I contoured with sleek makeup face contour kit in dark I love this contour powder and I have like another one so yeah anyways contoured with that and then I highlighted using max cheeky bronze mineralized skin finish and then I topped the sides of my face and the bridge of my nose with Anastasia Beverly Hills illuminator in so Hollywood and then I already messed my face with the urban decay all-nighter makeup setting spray just to get down the powdery finish i'll miss my face again when i'm done everything else and so then for my brows now i did everything as per usual um i filled my brows in with anastasia beverly hills dip brow in ebony and then i took let me grab it I took Sugar Pills, um, what palette is this called? This isn't called Addicted to Pretty, is it? No, I'm pretty sure this is the Burning Heart palette. But anyways, I took the red from the Sugar Pill eyeshadow, and I kind of, I put that on top, and then I took Max Deep Damson, which is like a berryish color, and I mixed that as well, and that's all I did, like I filled my brows in like I normally do, but I put those two eyeshadows on top to kind of like match my, my, the ends of the hair, and yeah, so that's everything that's on my face, so now I'm gonna go in with my eye makeup, 
and we're gonna be using the Tarte palettes today I used it the other day and I'm in love with the colors I love bright colors all day but this palette I really really like so I'm going in with Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just priming my lids okay so now after priming your lids I'm going with the Tarte palette oh, it smells good um, I'm going in with the eyeshadow Rebel and that's going to be my transition color today you guys no saddle today although it's pretty similar to saddle but i'm using windshield wiper motions and i am popping that in my crease slightly above it. i'm dragging it kind of out to the edge of my eyelids i honestly am just winging it right now don't really know what i'm going for but i know i want to do something neutral like using neutral colors but but dramatic yeah this palette smells like chocolate for whatever reason to me kind of reminds me of Too Faced palette oh, after applying Rebel to my crease I'm gonna go in with 217 again and overlap Leader which is like kind of like this mahogany color I'm going to overlap that in the depths of my crease and kind of over overlap it with Rebel that I placed down first. I haven't cleaned off the brush. I'm just going in to the second color, fusing those colors together. And once you have it blended over how you like it, I'm going to go in with more of a precise brush. This is the 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush from Zoeva. And I'm going to go in with Smoke Show, which is that really dark, kind of like almost grayish brown. And I'm going to go in and etch out my outer V. I'm just kind of placing that in, you know, my outer V. And again, kind of bringing it, shaping my eye out almost. And then once I place where the color is, I'm going to go back in again, not adding anything to the brush. And I'm going to blend out the edges of Smoke Show so that there isn't any harsh line. I'm going to go in a little bit more with Leader because I don't want to lose that kind of like reddish tone in my like overlapping it in my crease. And I'm just going to go over it again. These eyeshadows are really pigmented. Um, I've never had anything from Tarte before other than... My first thing from Tarte was the foundation and now it's this palette. And I'm really like impressed with the pigmentation of these shadows. So I'm glad I bought it. To go in with Firecracker. Which is this bronzy color right here. I'm going to pick it up oh that's so creamy i haven't used this color tap off the access and i'm gonna pat that down on my lid i want my inner corners to pop so i'm gonna go in with funny girl which is this light you guys cannot see that can you now you can this light color right here same brush not wiping off anything kind of mixing both of them together i'm gonna go in my inner corner and build that in my inner corner using the same brush but i'm tilting it on the side and just working it in my inner tear duct area because i want that area to like pop activist 
and leader and I'm gonna smoke that underneath my eye first I'm gonna take activist and concentrate that on the closer part of my lower lash line and I'm smoking that out blending that upwards Now I'm going to go ahead and do my winged liner and then I'm going to apply fascinating eye cold to my waterline. I'll be back. So all I've done is apply my <laughs> eyeliner really dramatically, um, really winged out and I put, um, I put fascinating eye cold and um i set it with nyx eyeshadow in white and now i'm just waiting for my eyelashes um the glue on, the, on my eyelashes to dry so in the meantime of me waiting what i'm going to do is apply my lips which is going to be color pop cosmetics liquid lipstick in kapow i like this color a lot so i'm gonna apply this to my lips I moisturized my lips when I first started doing my makeup, so yeah, I'm just gonna apply that. I'm going to be applying our not page today, guys. It's from, I got them from Morphe Brushes a while back. They are the lashes in 102. Um, these lashes are dramatic as hell, you guys. Like, super dramatic lashes, but I love me some dramatic lashes, so that's okay. So I'm just going to apply those on. They're really, really dramatic. Super drag. Okay, you guys. So, that is the final look. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this chit-chat get ready with me. If you guys want to see more of these types of videos, please let me know by commenting down below and thumbsing up this video. Please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, you guys.